And so here I am, at the back of Sydney Airport where I started, staying at the same hotel which I did at the beginning of my trip. Um, seems like an age ago. Um, it's been a ver very good trip business-wise. I've worked hard. Uh, out of the last nine days I've worked eight of them and uh, others have been travelling. I started off, I flew into here from the UK, here to Sydney, and then I stayed overnight in this very, this same hotel, if I would guess it even looks like the same room, um, then I flew to Perth early in the morning, and then I did my business there, um, working with the biggest grain cooperative in Australia, and it's a world class business, very well run dealing operation I must say, two days of work there, then quick flight in that evening, uh, Tuesday evening, to go to, uh, sorry, Wednesday evening to go to uh, Melbourne, where I joined a conference and the ATAA, the, Ameri the Australian Technical Analysts Association conference, and I spoke uh, at that, and then I, and uh, including, and it was also held over the weekend. That was really good too. Um, I was impressed. I must say, with the, the speakers, not myself, uh, but uh, the other speakers, they were very good. Um, and actually the level of knowledge of the audience was very good as well. One of the speakers I, I was particularly impressive was a guy called Dr. Howard Bandy, and he was talking about uh, backtesting and uh, how to find robustness in results. And it was really very, very interesting uh, talk. And considering many of, most of the people that were in the audience were retail, um, it was, um, you know, it was a pretty high-level talk, uh, pitched at them. There were 120 people at this Melbourne Technical Analysis event, which is pretty impressive as well. Uh, then, after I stayed in the same hotel um, in Melbourne, and then on the Monday and Tuesday, I worked with a company called Z Energy, which is a New Zealand uh, oil, uh, oil and oil product importer and working with them on the hedging program and I think that went very well indeed and uh, I had a good idea of uh, booking a suite there and so we could work in the living room of the suite. It was quite a, a place with a, with a jacuzzi and all those sort of things as well. Um, then uh, on uh, Tuesday night uh, I flew out to Sydney and then I did a course Wednesday, Thursday in Sydney, um, I did a course, uh, open course, and we had uh, five only for that, but it was okay, and uh, very nice people, um, and, and uh, we, I held that in the Thomson Reuters office, and so it was run as a workshop, so all the people had terminals, so there was a Thomson Reuters person there to help all the people with their icons, and so that uh, worked very well, and I'm pretty sure that the people felt they had, they had a very good course, because they were able to try things out uh, there and then while I was still there. Then Friday, it was a webinar day, um, so te the technical analysis surgery, and there, um, because of where, where I am, the Singapore one was at 4 o'clock in the afternoon, uh, the London one was at uh, 7 at night, 7 till 8, and then the New York one, which is noon in New York time, started at 2 a.m. So um, after, after the uh, London one, um, I, I went back uh, to where I was staying and I uh, had a little bit of a snooze in front of the telly and my alarm went off at uh, quarter to one. And I went back to the Reuters office, they'd given me a, a key for it, a pass for it, and um, got in there and then did you know, in this sort of spooky big office. I did did the broadcast which went very well and then I walked home. It was uh, quite interesting. Sydney on a Friday night or actually Saturday morning, 3, 3, 3 30 in the morning, it was really crowded and um, a lot of drunk people but actually very good humoured, quite funny and um, I went into McDonald's and joined the rest of them and uh, um, you know hundreds of people out in the street and I saw there was a couple of them doing, there was a, a 
few of them doing line dancing, uh, blocking the taxis, which was quite funny. And then there was another group I walked past, there was a, a busker at a microphone, and uh, this group, which were, were showering the busker with uh, $10 bills, um, was asking them to play tunes, and then one of them would take the microphone, they would do karaoke, and it was, uh, I watched that, it was quite funny. Uh, then I got back and, um, and uh, s s uh, saw the rest of the night out, then today, it's Saturday and um, I've had a sort of free day but I've been quite tired because of the busy day yesterday and um, I've made my way over to the airport, I've got to stay the night here. The flight's at 7.30 in the morning tomorrow so I thought it would be better staying uh, at the airport. Um, so I'm closer to it, uh, the flight. Now I'm flying to Hong Kong and um, I've got a 14 hour stop over there, which is a bit long, um, but um, uh, uh, then, then uh, then I'll be flying home and I'll be home on uh, Monday, late on Monday night. So it's uh, this journey, because that stopover is 40 hours long, so that's uh, quite a long one. Um, it was only 24 or something on the way uh, coming here. So uh, beginning the journey soon, had a good trip. Um, uh, hotels were all okay. Um, I stayed in Sydney, I stayed in an apartment not, um, t tonight, I'm staying in this. Uh, Ridge's Hotel, which I'll show you in a moment, uh, stayed in an apartment which was really, really good. Um, it, they're called Meriton, they've got uh, about 10 sites in Australia, only in Australia, but modern tower blocks. Um, and this, I was on the 29th floor and they had rooms right up to the, the uh, 44th or 45th floor, 175 rooms, and they were, they were apartments. I had a you know, bedroom, uh, a bathroom, a utility room with a washing machine and, and dryer, um, lovely living room, balcony, lovely view of the city from the 29th floor and um, it was really, really good and really cheap. I pre last time I was here I stayed at a smart hotel um, uh, on Hyde Park, which is the sort of uh, middle, middle of town park where the Anzac Memorial is and uh, it's Sheraton and I paid the same for, for one and a half nights there uh, for the, uh, the four nights I stayed in the apartment. The apartment was much better. And uh, so I rec recommend if you ever come to Australia uh, to take these Meriton uh, apartments, they're really good. So that's it, I'll, I'll just give you a little look of, around the room to see how uh, life as a travelling technical analyst isn't quite what, <laughs> as good as it seems. Uh, but uh, anyway, it's, a, it's okay, the main thing is I'm on my way home, which is what I'm looking forward to. So here's my room, uh, nice king size bed. Hanging out my suit, which I always must do. Well stocked bar, but um, ex experienced little road warrior has his own bottle of wine. It's that fifth leg bottle of wine, so it's my own there. Nice TV built in there. The desk, proper plugs, international plugs there. There's my case, all uh, things ready for tomorrow. Spare computer, also a very important uh, accessory for the road warrior. And so, rather nice. I'll show you out the window in a moment. Let me show you the bathroom first. So here's the bathroom. Um, nice, everything you need really is there. Uh, nice shower, open shower. Um, and uh, I'm pretty happy with that. I remember last time I was here, it was very powerful, that uh, uh, nice uh, overhead shower there. So uh, that would be excellent. Wake, wake me up tomorrow at five o'clock for my flight. So here I am right across the road from the terminal and there in the distance is, and I'll zoom in on it, it's Sydney in all its glory, beautiful place and, um, and uh, the airport's not far from it actually, 20 minutes uh, from it. I'll walk across the road and I'll be taking my, my plane, my Cathay Pacific plane back to Blighty via Hong Kong. Okay, I'll talk soon and I hope you enjoyed this short video. And so here I am, at the back of Sydney Airport where I started, staying at the same hotel which I did at the beginning of my trip. Um, seems like an age ago. Um, it's been a very good trip business-wise. I've worked hard uh, out of the last nine days. I've worked eight of them and others have been travelling. I started off, I flew into here from the uh, UK, here to Sydney and then 
I stayed overnight in this same, this same hotel, if I would guess the evening. It looks like the same room. Um, then I flew to Perth early in the morning and then I did my business there, um, working with the biggest grain cooperative in Australia and it's a world cup class business, very well run dealing operation I must say. Two days of work there, then a quick flight in that evening, uh, Tuesday evening to go to, uh, sorry Wednesday evening to go to uh, Melbourne where I joined a conference and the ATAA, the, Amer the Australian Technical Analysts Association conference and I spoke uh, at that and then I Including, and it was also held over the weekend. That was really good too. Um, I was impressed, I must say, with the, the speakers, not myself, uh, but uh, the other speakers. They were very good. Um, and actually the level of knowledge of the audience was very good as well. One of the speakers I uh, was particularly impressive was a guy called Dr. Howard Bandy, and he was talking about uh, backtesting and uh, how to find robustness in results and it was really very very interesting uh, talk and considering many of most of the people that were in the audience were retail um, it was um, you know it was a pretty high level talk and uh, pitched at them there were 120 people at this Melbourne technical analysis event which is pretty impressive as well uh, then after I stayed in the same hotel um, in Melbourne and then on the Monday and Tuesday I worked with a company called Z Energy, which is a New Zealand uh, oil, uh, oil and oil product importer, and working with them on the hedging program. And I think that went very well indeed. And uh, I had a, a good idea of uh, booking a suite there, and so we could work in the living room of the suite. It was quite a, a place with a, <laughs> with a jacuzzi and all those sort of things as well. Um, then. Uh, uh, on uh, Tuesday night uh, I flew out to Sydney and then I did a course Wednesday, Thursday in Sydney. Um, I did a course, uh, open course, and we had uh, five only for that, but it was okay. And uh, very nice people, um, and, and uh, we, I held that in the Thomson Reuters office. And so it was run as a workshop, so all the people had terminals, so there was a Thompson Rogers person there to help all the people with their icons, and so that uh, worked very well, and I'm pretty sure that the people felt they had, they had a very good course, because they were able to try things out uh, there and then while I was still there. Then Friday, it was a webinar day, um, so te the technical analysis surgery, and there, <laughs> um, because of where, where I am, the Singapore one was at 4 o'clock in the afternoon, uh, the London one was at uh, 7 at night, 7 till 8, and then the New York one, which is noon in New York time, was, started at 2 a.m. So um, after, after the uh, London one, um, I, I went back uh, to where I was staying, and I uh, had a little bit of a snooze in front of the telly, and then my alarm went off at uh, quarter to one, and I went back to the Reuters office, they'd given me a, a key for it, Passed for it and um, got in there and then did you know, well, in this sort of spooky big office. I did did the broadcast, which went very well. And then I walked home. It was uh, quite interesting. Sydney on a Friday night, or actually Saturday morning, three eight, three uh, three thirty in the morning, it was really crowded and um, a lot of drunk people. But actually very good humoured, quite funny. And um, I went into McDonald's and joined the rest of them and. Uh, um, you know, there were hundreds of people around the street, and I saw there was a couple of them doing. There was a, uh, a few of them doing line dancing, uh, blocking the taxis, which was quite funny. And then there was another group. I walked past. There was a, a busker had a microphone, and uh, this group, which were were showering the busker with uh, ten dollar bills, um, was asking them to play tunes. And then one of them would take the microphone. They were doing karaoke, and it was. Uh, I watched that. It was quite funny. Uh, then I got back, and. Um, and uh, uh, saw the rest of the night out. Then today is Saturday, and um, I've had a sort of free day, but I've been quite tired because of a busy day yesterday. And um, I've made my way over to the airport. Got to stay the night here. The flight's at 7:30 in the morning tomorrow, so I thought it'd be better staying uh, at the airport. Um, so I'm, I'm closer to it. 
the flight, now I'm flying to Hong Kong, and um, I've got a 14 hour stopover there, which is a bit long, um, but um, uh, uh, then, then, uh, then I'll be flying home, I'll be home on uh, Monday, late on Monday night. So it's uh, this journey, because that stopover is 40 hours long, so that's uh, quite a long one. Um, it was only 24 or something on the way uh, coming here. So uh, beginning the journey soon, had a good trip. Um, uh, hotels were all okay. Um, I stayed in Sydney, I stayed in an apartment, not um, t tonight I'm staying in this uh, Ridges Hotel, which I'll show you in a moment. Uh, stayed in an apartment, which was really, really good. Um, it, they're called Meriton, they've got uh, about 10 sites in Australia, only in Australia, but modern tower blocks, um, and this, I was on the 29th floor and they had rooms right up to the, the uh, 44th or 45th floor, 175 rooms, and they were, they were apartments. I had a you know, bedroom, uh, a bathroom, a utility room with washing machine and, and dryer, um, lovely living room, balcony, lovely view of the city from the 29th floor. And um, it was really, really good and really cheap. I pre last time I was here, I stayed at a smart hotel um, uh, on Hyde Park, which is the sort of uh, middle, of, middle of town park where the Anzac Memorial is, and uh, it's Sheraton. And I paid the same for, for one and a half nights there uh, for the, uh, the four nights I stayed in the apartment. The apartment was much better. And uh, so I rec recommend if you ever come to Australia uh, to take these Meriton. Uh, apartments, they're really good. So that's it, I'll, I'll just give you a little look of, around the room to see how uh, life as a travelling technical analyst isn't quite what, <laughs> as good as it seems, uh, but uh, anyway, it's, a, it's okay, the main thing is I'm on my way home, which is what I'm looking forward to. So here's my room, uh, nice king size bed, hanging out my suit, which I always must do, well stocked bar, but um, Experienced sort of a road warrior has his own bottle of wine. So that fifth leg bottle of wine is, is my own there. Nice TV built in there. The desk, proper plugs, international plugs there. There's my case, all uh, things ready for tomorrow. Spare computer, also a very important uh, accessory for the road warrior. And so rather nice. I'll show you out the window in a moment. Let me show you the bathroom first. So here's the bathroom. Um, Nice, everything you need really is there. Uh, nice shower, open shower. Um, and uh, so I'm pretty happy with that. I remember last time I was here, it was very powerful, that uh, uh, nice uh, overhead shower there. So um, that would be excellent. Break, wake me up tomorrow at five o'clock for my flight. So here I am right across the road from the terminal. And there in the distance is I'll zoom in on it. It's Sydney in all its glory, beautiful place. And, um, and uh, the airport's not far from it actually, 20 minutes uh, from it. I'll walk across the road and I'll be taking my, my plane, my Cathay Pacific plane, uh, back to Blighty via Hong Kong. Okay, I'll talk soon and I hope you enjoyed this short video.